Jaya! Ha! Let's try to get this one right. You notice there is a Me Too campaign going on that talks about the abuse, sexual attacks, abuse, rape, harassment on women. And uh, the topic for this video that I want to record today is what women are really asking from men. You know, this is my a message to my brothers, a message also to my sisters out there, to all the women out there. Just to rephrase and kind of put it out there so that you understand that we are listening and if I'm missing something in this video, please just comment, give us some feedback because we are here to learn, okay? So, here is what I understand. Um, the first intention of this campaign is just to speak up, okay? That's the first intention, no more silence around this. Guys, if you uh, witness a woman sharing or what's happening around that, the first step is just to listen, you know, to be like, oh my God, the awareness, you know, bring the awareness. Because women have been hiding this stuff a lot. And so I'm so happy that it's coming to the surface that silence is no longer an option, you know. We can be in denial for, for our whole lives around things like that as a planetary race, you know, and be like, no, let's pretend it doesn't exist. No, now it's the bubble is out. Every time one of my friends is sharing one of her stories, I go like, wow, wow, this is, this is incredible what happened to you. I had no idea. So revealing that to the surface and saying, this is a wound, you see, it's a scar on my system, it's a scar on my body. I'm victimizing or I'm not victimizing, I found ways of dealing with it. It's just sharing, it's expressing, it's voicing and encouraging women to come out. How many women out there started by saying, oh, I thought I was not going to engage, but after I saw other people doing it, then now I'm voicing it as well. So it's such a powerful, liberating, healing experience that we are uh, having right now as a collective, okay? This is really, really important. So the other thing is that these this messages and what's coming out is not necessarily directed to men. You know, it's not necessarily directed towards us. It's the first intention is just to voice, to express, to let it out of, of, of their throats so that, you know, we can, we can get it out of our system. So this is what, you know, what I hear women doing right now is just voicing, just expressing. And this is exciting because it means that the space is open now. The space is open to, to bring that to the light and to, um, to the surface. And um, the next step after voicing, it's really to be heard. It's like instead of men responding with the denial or rejecting or I'm pretending not to, to, to see that, which is not what's happening at all. You know, men are like, wow, you know, compassion, compassionate and really listening. And um, so that's the next step is like, I feel that's what women need right now in this, in what is happening is just to be heard as well, right? Give us the space to voice it and let, <laughs> you know, hear us, hear our calling. This is, this is something that is really um, close to our heart and profound in our, in our collective. What I like about what's happening right now is that Precisely, you know, it's not a gender blaming campaign. It's just a call to a call to speak and uh, and be heard. And um, the 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 calling can be summarized in just one word. That's what I feel. It's like respect us, respect. Okay. Stop doing what hurts us. There is there is a lot of behaviors in the masculine that are not okay. You have to replace all that by just one simple thing. It's like respect. Respect our bodies, respect our minds, respect our ideas, respect our space. Stop invading our safety. Stop threatening us. Stop attacking us. Stop raping us. Respect. And it's such a simple thing, but this is the quality that is missing. Like when, uh, you know, people are talking about a rape culture, right? What does that mean? It means that there is a deep wounding and the respect part is the quality that is missing. It means that right now, you know, if you look at us as a collective, right? Not as individually, the degree of respect that men have towards women 
is at maybe 50% of its potential. There are lots of men out there who will never abuse, attack, rape, or do any of these things to women, right? And there are the men who are constantly engaging into catcalling, crossing boundaries, and doing things that are abusive towards the feminine. And so the idea is this, it's like this 50% potential of respect that we have from men towards women, we have to raise that. It has to increase. It has to go from 50% to 99%, to 100%, to 80% at least, but just keep on rising that level so that women feel safe. <laughs> they want safety. They want to feel safe when they walk through the streets. They don't want this constant, you know, harassment and fear in the back of their minds. Imagine that every time you step out of your house, you have no idea what's going to happen. It's shocking. It's scary, okay? And that creates a trauma. It creates fear. It creates a contraction in our human consciousness. And it's time to evolve beyond that. So simple. Respect us. Keep us safe. It's a very simple thing. And still, it's something that we need to practice and we need to enhance that quality and educate our brothers and humankind as a whole. Okay, so here is a point that is, this is very important to understand is that of course there are other issues. Of course men are being abused as well. Of course men have been sexually assaulted as well. But what we are focusing on right now is what's happening from the masculine towards the feminine because it's a huge chunk okay like men are exposed to abuse they are exposed to these things but the proportion is completely different and so you can look at it from you know women towards men or from men towards women but the thing is that the patterns of abuse and harassment from men towards women are pretty specific. It's not just human to human, okay? They are very specific in the behaviors, in the mindsets. And if you want to educate boys, you want to educate teenagers, you have to understand how those patterns work. What is missing in this piece? So making it gender specific gives us higher chances of success in tackling that, okay? This is why women are saying, please, don't hijack this campaign. This is about us, it's about the feminine. And yes, of course, you know, voicing, you, you are a man and you have been abused too, you say, yeah, me too, that happened to me. It's nice to see men coming out and voicing it, but uh, 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 quite a few women, women go, great, good on you, thanks for letting us know, you know? And other women go like, ah, oh, that feels a little bit uncomfortable because this is not about guys, this is about us and we want to keep it about us. So I know that there is a division there, you know, there is a different of opinion depending, you know, some women feel like that, some women don't, you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm reflecting a little bit what I saw online and what I heard. It is that, please, don't, guys, don't make this about you. Don't <laughs> hijack this campaign by taking over and self-referencing okay it's a little bit like somebody sharing to you and say yeah i had this experience yesterday i i you know i almost died and and the person is in the process of sharing and you interrupt them and you hijack the conversation you go like yeah yeah i had the same happening to me wow yeah no i mean it was horrible a few years back this is what happened so this is called hijacking the conversation okay and I'm not saying that this is what's happening right now. It's a little bit of a feeling of what's going on. And so when women are voicing and sharing, and right now it's spreading all over the internet, what they're saying is, please listen. Listen first. Before you answer, listen first. First listen. Take it in. Understand the dimension, the depth of the trauma and the problem that we are facing as a human race. Okay? So absolutely everything that I'm saying right now, you are free to have a different opinion, okay? <laughs> you are free to, um, you know, to 
to comment and, and put out there in the comments if you if you feel different about all that and that's okay you know I'm just reflecting here something that I feel is the truth the, tr the truth that I'm feeling in myself right now and what I heard and I'm reflecting what I heard online over the last few days another core message that I'm hearing coming from women is please guys help we cannot do this alone you just being silent around this issue is not okay for us we need to feel supported we need to feel your conscious directed support in this issue and this is something that is very important because you can be like yeah i hear you yeah whatever um you know no it's like i hear you and it's not okay i understand why it hurts you i understand what this has wounding you your whole life okay so being present and being supportive you know the typical thing that would not be supportive is starting start to make fun of it to ridiculing denying it making it smaller than it is yeah you know yeah it's like but everybody gets harassed no, it's like, you know, please hear us. Take it in. Don't object. Don't respond. Don't hijack the conversation. Listen. Take it in. In the hell, please, what women are saying is, if you know how to do that, please educate other men as well. It means that somehow there is, it's not a gender blaming, but saying you as men you are responsible for taking care of each other of taking other men <laughs> into your field and teaching them how to do that stuff as well it means that if we don't voice and we see a guy coming into a field of a woman and doing something that is really inappropriate and we don't stand up to protect the woman you know she will be like what the fuck i i need your protection I need you to know that you are going to stand up for me because otherwise I don't feel safe. I need to know that there is a warrior here who is ready to stand up for truth and defend me if there is a battle going on. Why? Because sometimes I am, as a woman, I'm physically overpowered. Yes, we are all equal and sometimes I'm physically overpowered. You've got a big body, you're a strong man, you're a warrior. Stand up and defend me, whether it's physically, legally, whatever. But make a stand of being there to protect the feminine. Okay? So this is another calling which is really strong. Something that is also a little bit controversial here is that Quite a few men came up and apologized, right? They say, I'm sorry, in the name of all the men, I want to apologize in the name of malehood. And that's beautiful, okay? Now, some, some women responded to that and, and be like, we don't actually need your apology. We don't need you to feel sorry for, for that. What we need is first to understand. And if you do, if you apologize, just saying, I'm sorry, and thinking this is it, you know, that it's kind of blanket apology. Yeah, I'm sorry for whatever I did in the past. I don't even remember what it was. But in case something happened, I want you to tell, to tell you that I'm sorry. Go like, ah, you know, that's not good enough. You have to be more specific. You need to tell us exactly what you did that was inappropriate and what you would do instead if you were exposed to the same impulses again in the future you see a woman you're attracted to her she tells you no what would you do instead <laughs> respect right you would be like okay so describe exactly the situations and what you did so that the women really understand that you get it and you know how to master these untamed sexual impulses inside of you. Okay, so an apology is like, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, this is vague, it's general. But when you make it more specific, it makes it way, way more real. Okay. And uh, the, last, uh, the last thing, the last thing, because once... We hurt each other, okay? Once women have been voicing and hearing 
and being listened to by the men or by by other women as well by society in general once you listen then the next call that i'm feeling in there is to take some fucking action and do something about it okay because this campaign is really powerful it's like voicing something look society men women we've got a problem okay We've got a challenge that we're facing right now and we don't know how to solve this. And we need the goodwill of millions of men on this planet, men and women who are going to align themselves to start taking action to do something about that. Okay? What is happening right now in terms of how women are being abused, harassed or attacked assault it is not okay we can do better as human race so i hear behind that behind that call that women are putting out there the next step is please guys take some fucking action and do something about it and you go like wow what what do you want me to do say go fucking figure it out <laughs> figure it out do something about it. Don't just be there passive and let it, let it happen. Let it keep on, keep, keep on being the same. Take some fucking action. And so what this requires, it's an energetic or emotional investment from male kind. Male kind. Kind male. Let's, you know, reclaim that word. But this is the idea. It's like, let's take some fucking action. And honestly, I have no idea what those actions are. Last night I was brainstorming, I was like, yeah, no, I've got straight away, like I've got ideas coming up. You know, launch other campaigns, protect, educate, uh, launch programs for teenagers. You know, there, there is suddenly like, before you notice it, if we get together like 10 men and we start brainstorming on the topic, you know, within a day, we've got like 30, 40, 50 strategies that we could start applying straight away. Here are the core 10 mindsets that men need to integrate in their lives to respect women. Here are the behaviors that are not okay. You know, and you just make a list of them. You start educating, you start broadcasting, you start putting it out there. You know, but the point is this. It is like, take some fucking action about it. Do something about it. Not just, okay, listening is great. Now we know there is a problem, what are we going to do about it? And, you know, what women are saying is like, please help us. It's not just the responsibility of men, it's the responsibility of women as well, you know. It's like women can do something about it as well. Precisely by voicing it, for instance, or standing up, or educating their children, you know. It's possible, there are lots of places where women can do something about it. But for guys here, it's like, you can go like, wow, you know, this is not really my problem because it's happening between you and another man and I'm a respectful guy and I don't perform that. So what women are saying, you as a man, you are responsible for educating your peers. You are responsible for putting a message out there and putting some protections. Why? Because you very often have leadership positions. You see, if you work in a business, for instance, and you are a woman and you are getting sexually harassed by co-workers, who is going to do something about it? The boss! Who is the boss? Maybe it's a male, you know, precisely. So the male has to come in and say, guys, what the fuck is that? Are you serious? This is not okay. You treat her with respect or you're out. Okay, you see, this is boundary. It's coercive, it's directive. It's giving them, those guys a boundary and saying, that behavior is not okay. So what women are saying is like, you guys hold a lot of power on this planet. Use some of that power as a protective force towards us and fucking do something about it. Okay, we're in trouble. We're suffering, we're wounded. We have been traumatized by these things. Enough is enough. Okay, so this is the calling. And for my brothers out there, I fucking love you. I have so many men in this community and the, the men that surround me, you who are listening to this video, I'm sure that, you know, there is an essence of love and power, warrior, king, inside of you, all these archetypes of beauty, divine inspiration flowing through your being. 
I'm not here to accuse you, I'm not here to attack you, I'm just here to challenge each other and start rising to our highest potential. You know, and you might look at my behavior and one week from now I didn't do shit about it. You know, it's possible, I'm not perfect, I'm not positioning here myself as, oh, do what I'm doing. No, it's like I'm just voicing something that's, that feels like needs to be voiced at this moment. And, uh, you know, other friends, for instance, have, have been posting out there, you know, really deep, heartfelt apologies. It's really beautiful. Well done. And, you know, the question is right here. What else can we do? And um, I just wanted to reflect this because there is, you know, I've been scanning what has been happening and analyzing a little bit. And so I've, I've got a kind of overview about those, uh, those different intentions and what, what women are really asking for. On top of that, I've been coaching women for years. And so... You know, I heard about the stories and, um, and those are reflections of what is needed. So, yeah, solutions, take action. And when it comes to action, the first thing that comes to mind, you know, I mean, for myself, is just that. It's like what is being asked from men is educate, educate men, <laughs> educate our brothers, you know. Educate our brothers on how to relate to women, how to respect women. Okay? And uh, there is a very simple thing behind that. It is that who do you want to educate? The first very important target audience is teenagers, 15 to 20 years old. This is the place where you can have a massive impact. Depending on what you say to these kids, it's going to completely shift the way they are going to relate to women in the future. The challenge that we have in society right now is that there is very poor sexual education to teenagers, to kids. You know, basically it's a taboo sub no, let's not talk about this. And then it creates this kind of distorted forms where kids are being inspired by what they see in porn or by this, what, what they see in, uh, you know, in pop culture, <laughs> you know, music videos, it's like... No, they, they needs, it needs to be way more conscious. And yes, I do believe that, you know, it can start a little bit earlier, but the target audience, the place where you can really influence teenagers is in that range between 15 to 20 or 12 to 20. It's like in that place there, a guy, a young adult or a teenager gets the right messages at that moment with very specific role models. He will be like, oh, that's the way we do it. But what? What if there are no models? What if there is no education? They just start doing whatever everybody else is doing and, and um, duplicating what, what the parents, fathers, or the men in the community have been doing. You know, that's not good enough. This is the place where there is a, a, yeah, a huge, huge potential there. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to take a while, okay? It's not something that is going to shift on this planet instantly. We're talking about a deep ingrained conditioning in human consciousness. And so if it starts, you know, growing a lot in the Western world and you have other maybe third world countries where it's not yet happening, don't despair, okay? It's like it's one step at a time. My guess is that this evolution is unstoppable and it's going to happen whether people like me or you or anybody takes action or not it's like it's going to start moving forward and uh, you know the right people the right leaders to to um to bring change and transformation on that are going to show up because there is a calling there is an energy you know like right now while i'm recording this video i feel like on freaking fire i'm like there is there is fire this passion waking up around that and so maybe somebody will see this video and be like wow this is inspiring yeah let me do something about it and so you pick it up and then you you do your own thing it's not one person's effort okay it's a collective effort and as many people as possible getting involved into into you know co-creating solutions around that the best the best it will be yeah wow again thank you women for voicing and for guys stepping up and for all this conversation um, it's really you know I know that there is lots of pain and wounding in that but there is a tremendous amount of beauty and healing um, rising through all that and um, if you want to remember just one code word from that if you have to educate your kids on something it's not complex okay it's not complex the single simple core concept or idea or energy that we need to manifest more of is very simple respect respect women 
in your life. That's it. We go from 50% to 90%, that's it.